All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahara Kakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone that do group well. Peace and salutations to the Lord's elect, the hopeful elect in the one third, pushing his 100% truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. <clears throat> all right. Uh, I want to do a lesson all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Shai. Um, and pretty much I want to entitle this the horrendous history of the wicked one. Okay. Um, it's not on my spirit to title lessons, you know, with certain algorithms like Esau, Edom. Okay. But this lesson is going to be upon a horrendous, heinous act in a time of history concerning Esau, Edom, who in the Bible is called the wicked one, all right, so if you look up horrendous, all right, it means extremely unpleasant, horrifying, or terrible, okay, so we're about to, we're about to take a look at a terrible time in history that Esau, Edom, all right, partook in, and uh, this, this episode, because Adawan Ratazah, I would love to do a continual series of heinous, horrendous times in history, okay, of uh, uh, Esau, Edom, okay, you know, and um, I think it's very edifying because, you know, it's one thing, it's one thing to go into um, slavery in itself, which, which that alone, okay, that alone has it, it, its platform, um, you know, to, uh, to condemn Esau for his wicked acts, but even within us in slavery, there are individual uh, uh, times in history where this devil has just done horrendous, torturous, wicked things to us as a people, man. Okay, so I don't know to say, Yahal Bashem El Shai, Bahawar Kakodash puts it on my spirit, you know, to uh, to go into these things. Okay, this is uh, I'm gonna start off with this, and I may always start off with this scripture if uh, if the Spirit allows me to do a continuing series on this. Ecclesiastes three and fifteen. That which that which has been is now, and that which is to be has already been, and the Most High requireth that which is past. So things that have happened in the past that uh, have not been answered for. All right, in in judgment, the Most High requires that. Okay, you you can't uh, expect a you know a, a certain amount of time period for you to do something to the children of the one you ignorantly call God and just get away with it scot free. And this is why Yahweh Bashem El Shai uh, uh, has his prophets out here prophesizing and condemning you for your wicked acts. So this is a uh, in particular Shedemite by the name of Delphine Lalori. All right, and she's also known as Marie Delphine McCarty or McCarthy, and uh, her time period was pretty much the seven, uh, 1787 to the uh, eighteen middle of the eighteen hundreds. Okay, so roughly between the end of the seventeen hundreds to the middle of the eighteen hundreds time period. All right, and it says uh, more commonly known as Madame Blaquie. Or after her third marriage as Madame LaLaurie was a New Orleans Creole socialite and serial killer who tortured and murdered slaves in her household. Okay, this is what she was known for. She was a known serial killer and she would specifically get slaves, Israelite slaves, just to torture them. Okay, and she, she would torture she would torture uh, uh, Jake night and day, man, okay? And I'm just going to hold this on deck, and we're going to run through this, okay? So let's get a little bit information on this. And it says, uh, born during the Spanish colonial period, LaLaurie married three times in Louisiana and was twice widowed. So she's a complete demon. She probably, you know, murdered her own husband. She maintained her position in New Orleans society until April 10, 1834, when rescuers responded to a fire at a Royal Street mansion. They discovered bound slaves in her attic who showed evidence of cruel or horrendous 
violent abuse over a long period. So this shows you right here that not only did Esau enslave us, rape, rob, and murder us, he tortured us, he beat us, okay? Uh, and these were, these were uh, uh, grotesque, horrendous acts that they did out of pleasure, okay? Not out of punishment, out of pure pleasure, this is Obadiah 1 and um, 10. And it reads, uh, For the violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. So the violence, okay, that Esau Edom has had on us, shame is going to cover them, okay? And you, sh you, you should feel uh, shameful for these acts, man. That's why the house got set on fire. We're going to keep reading. Okay, like I said, I've been sitting on this piece of information for a while, but you know, at the end of the day, it's all the spirit. I've been wanting to do this lesson, but it's the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, Baharakakwadash, that activates us to do these lessons for the times appointed. Okay, so when you go into that word heinous, it goes into violence, wrong, cruelty, and justice. And that's exactly what he does. He 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 kills us out of cruelty. Okay, he kills us uh, in wrong doings. Okay, he kills us in the name of injustice. Okay, this is what he does. Look, violence, violent, cruelty, wrong, false, damage, injustice, oppressor, unrighteous. So he unrighteously kills us. It's one thing to send judgment, okay, pertaining to the law. All right, like there is a law for hanging. And at sundown, you would take that that um, uh, that person, okay, that guilty one, you would take them down from being hung. But Esau, what he would do is he would leave us, okay, he would leave us hung for birds and animals and fowls to peck at us and, and just desecrate our body. And he would use that as a, um, as a scare tactic to other Israelites so they wouldn't run away. All right, this is why you have a, uh, a Israelite uh, singer by the name of, um, I believe it's, uh, what is her name, Buddy Holly. Oh, man, I, I, that might be her name. You brothers, you you know, if I'm wrong, you'll correct me in the comment section. But um, I believe she had a song called Strange Fruit. And, it, and, and in the song, she said, Str um, strange fruit hanging from a tree's body swinging in a southern breeze. Talking about Israel, man. Okay, so Esau, he's took it far and beyond, okay? This this wicked one, all right, he's took in his hatred, he's took in his violence far and beyond, okay? This guy, what he's done to us, and he, when I say he, I'm speaking about them in general, okay? But what they've done to us is completely wicked. So let's keep going. It says, uh, uh, it says, uh, they discovered bound slaves in her attic, who showed evidence of cruel, violent abuse over a long period. LaLaurie's house was subs subsequently sacked by an outraged mob of New Orleans citizens. She escaped to Spain with her family. Okay, so it got to the point where, uh, you know, the people, including Jake, got fed up with it. Okay, it says the mansion traditionally held to be LaLaurie's in a landmark in the French Quarter in part. So this proves that the French Edomites were wicked to us. The British Edomites were wicked to us. The 13 American uh, uh, established Edomites were wicked to us. Okay. The Greek Edomites were wicked to us. The Roman Edomites were wicked to us. You see, the Esau has just been completely wicked to us as a people. And look at this. It says, however, her house was burned by a mob and the Lalori Mansion at 1140 Royal Street was in fact rebuilt after her departure from New Orleans. So that was her um, her street address. Okay, so let's go down. Now this is a little bit of history of her. We don't need to know that because we know they're Edomites. That's all we need to know. Now let's go down. We don't need to know about her first marriage or her second. All right. So let's go right down to the torture and murder of slaves and 1834 Lalori Mansion Fire. It says, uh, accounts of Delphine's Lalori's treatment of her slaves between 1831 and 1834 are mixed. Harriet Maratinu, written in 1838, recounted tales told by her, uh, told to her 
by New Orleans residents during her 1836 visit claimed the Lori slaves were observed to be singularly haggard and wretched. So she kept them in a very unfit and unclean manner, which the scriptures speak against that. Okay, against the um, against your servants. It says, however, in public appearances, Lori was seen to be generally polite to black people and socialists of her slaves' health. And why? Because Esau is a liar, man. Okay, Esau has mastered um, uh, lying. All right, that that's what he's the father of is lying. This is Psalms fifty eight and um, uh, Psalms fifty eight and two. It says, "Yea, in heart ye work wickedness." Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Okay, so Esau, Edom will kill you, will murder you, will desecrate your body, but then smile in your mother and father's face. Okay, will kill you and then raise up your child in his home. This is the spirit of Esau, man. Okay, so this is showing you a horrendous uh, uh, um, a piece of history of, of Esau's acts, man. A horrendous act in history of Esau Edom. Okay, and it says uh, funeral registers between 1830 and 1834 document death of 12 slaves at the Royal Street Mansion. Ryan, what's that 12 represent? All 12 tribes. Okay, I'm just speaking spiritually. This is one example, but Esau has done this to all 12 tribes, okay? Let's let's prove that. That's scriptural. Jeremiah, I believe it's 51. And, um, excuse me, Jeremiah f uh, 50. Yeah, let's go to Jeremiah 50 real, real quick, okay? Esau has, has, has caused this to both kingdoms. Jeremiah 50 and 33, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Oh, and a side note, don't you know that the Seminole Indians, if you go back, which a brother who is a, a Reubenite, he told me this. There is, a, a, there is history that has tracked Seminole Indians and one of the places that they fled during the Trail of Tears was Louisiana. Don't you know that? So some of these slaves, okay, were Seminole Indians. They were Reubenites, okay? They were Gadites. They were Judites. They were uh, Levites, Creole. So they're, so these slaves, okay, I guarantee you, was not just Southern Kingdom. They were Southern and Northern, all right? And she was torturing them, beating them, all right, doing, doing cruel acts to them, okay? And it wasn't just her. She had her henchmen, okay? She had her lovers, you see? Uh, Jeremiah 50 and 33, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. When we went into that word violence in Obadiah, it went into oppressed. Let's just see what this says real quick. All right. So when you go into this, um, to oppress, violate, to do violence, get deceitfully wrong, oppress. Right. There you go. So, yep. So they, they were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. And as a small example, this woman, uh, um, uh, Daphne, whatever the hell you want to go, Delphine, she refused to let us go. In so much that the town, all right, had to set fire to her home to man. okay, just to free Jake. So let's read just a little more. I'm going to kind of skim through it. Uh, completely wicked, man. Okay, so when Esau talks about you know slavery, hey, they did they did more than just had us pick cotton. Okay, we did more than just pick cotton and and tobacco. Uh, it says, um, okay, so it says um, uh, the uh, it says these twelve deaths include wow, they include every Israelite's name. Look at that. It says these deaths include um, a, a Bonnie the cook. And her four children. Oh my goodness, man. Uh, I'm just going to skim through. And it says, And had previously belonged to a refugee from St. Dominique and was described in her cell as a chronic runaway. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, court records uh, says, Lori freed two of her slaves 
Uh, blah, 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 blah. It says, Lalori's mistreatment of her slaves were sufficiently widespread that a local lawyer was dispatched to the royal street to remind Lalori of the laws for the upkeep of slaves. During the visit, the lawyer found no evidence of wrongdoing or mistreatment of slaves by Lalori. Yeah, because Esau's a devil, man. All right, so here it is. You got people talking about like all the shit you're doing to them. And then, of course, when you got someone coming to check on him, you're going to clean him up. All right. That's Esau's a liar, man. OK, he, he when, when, let's go to Psalm 73. When it comes to oppression, he speaks lawfully. OK, he, he's not going to he's not going to care about your pain and anguish. He's going to make you look like, all right, everything's on the up and up. But then when they leave, he's going to beat you that much more. OK, Psalm 73 and um, uh, where is it? Uh, six, there, therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain. And you know this devil, she was proud as all hell, man. She was a proud demon. It says violence covered them as a garment. So she, her garment was, uh, uh, was violence, man. Her, her name was known, all right, to be a torturer and a serial killer. This was her legacy. And this is just one sheet of might, all right? Uh, let's see, um... Uh, let's keep going. Oh, look at this. It says, she said that uh, subsequent to the visit of the lawyer, one of LaLaurie's neighbors saw one of her slaves, a girl about eight years old, a eight-year-old little baby, fall to her death from the roof of the Royal Street Mansion while trying to avoid punishment from a whip-wielding LaLaurie. Hey, this reminds me of the movie Mommy Dearest, man. Okay. If any of you brothers, um, you know, are uh, 80s baby like myself, if any of you were born in the late 1900s, okay, you're familiar with the uh, movie Mommy Dearest, and she was a complete demon. She said, no wire hangers, and she would beat the shit out of her adopted children, man, okay? Oh, and this shows you right here that any Jakes that are adopted in these Edomite families, they're, they're shitting on them, man, okay? They're, they're doing heinous and horrendous things to them, man. Look at, um, what the hell is her name? Uh, damn, she played in Devil Advocate. Um, I, I can't remember her name. She played in Devil, at Sh uh, Charisse, uh, L L Theraz or whatever. She got a, she got a, one of our Jake children, man. And a fucking, a Jake boy in a damn dress, man. And fucking pink dress. Uh, singing Frozen. You see what Esau does to us, man? Okay? He's still doing shit to this day. You see? And then this baby jumped to her death, all right, to uh, 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 escape being beaten, all right, for something minor. Like in the movie Django, uh, you had the Edomite whipping uh, the Israelite woman because she dropped the egg, man. And he had the nerve to use the scriptures. That's why it's going to be so beautiful when we use the scriptures to judge your ass, man, okay? And I got more. I got more. Matter of fact, let's keep reading. Psalm 73 and 6. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully. See? They speak wickedly concerning oppression, man. Oh, he, he, he's good. He just needs a good 20 more lashings. He'll be all right, you know? Or, oh, they, you shouldn't have resisted. Or, oh, that was a long time ago. The most, high, the most high requires that which is past, man. Okay? And it says, uh, the body was subsequently buried on Manson's ground. So this proves right here. You don't know how many Jakes that she took out. Or how many were killed. Let me skim through. I don't want to make this too long. It says, um, uh, da -da 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 um, oh, wow. Look at this. It says, Jean... Uh, Del Lavigne, in, in her 1945 account, gave the child's age as 12 years and gave her name Leah. Leah! Look at that. Leah. It says, uh, later writers elaborated on the case saying that Leah had been brushing Delphine's hair when she hit a snag, causing LaLaurie to grab a whip and chase her. So this, this fucking, excuse me, this B word, all right, she was a complete demon. She was on, uh, she had, uh, she, she had a, uh, a short fuse. She had a short fuse, man. So at any moment, if Jake did anything, she had no mercy. Okay? 
She had, this, she had no mercy. This is Amos 1 and 11. And it reads, Thus saith the Lord for tree, three, for three, tra got me in my Benjamin, for, for tree, for tree transgressions, man. For three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn, uh, tur I will not turn away the punishment thereof because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity and his anger did tear perpetually and he kept his wrath forever. Just like now, man, like, damn. He hit a little snag and, and she just starts going nuts and says she grabbed the whip. So she she must have had that shit uh, near her, man. She probably had uh, uh, weapons rooms, you know, rooms where she kept certain uh, weapons to beat Jake with. James 2 and 13, for he shall have judgment without mercy that has shewed no mercy and mercy shall rejoice against judgment. You are going to receive no mercy, all right? Look at this. This, this is a count right here. It says, according to Martineau, this incident led to an investigation of the Lolores in which they were found guilty of illegal cruelty and forced to forfeit nine slaves. Damn. These nine slaves were bought back, were bought back by the Lolores through a intermediary relative and returned to the Royal Street residence. Damn. Damn. This proves they refused to let them go. So they got charged with something. So then they got taken from the home, and then they had one of their relatives buy them back and, and bring them to the home again. Damn. Uh, it says, um, similarly, M Martineau recounted stories that Lori kept her cook chained to the kitchen stove. Damn, man. Chained. Chained to the kitchen stove. And beat her daughters when they attempted to feed the slaves. Wow. Wow. Do you hear this, man? Do you hear these horrendous acts that you've done? And this is just one house, okay? This is just one house. This is, I'll say this, this is just one room in the house of the thief. Man, Revelations 13 and 10, and you mean to tell me? You mean to tell me that these, they ain't going into slavery, man? Revelations 13 and 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints, man. Hey, what goes around, hey, what, what goes around comes around, man. Man, chained, you imagine that being chained to a stove? And then you're, you're watching your children, watching your children be beat when they're feeding hungry slaves? starving slaves let's see man uh it says uh on april 10th a fire broke out in the lolori's residence on royal street started starting in the kitchen yeah the jake jake started a fire man like fuck this when the police and fire marshals got there they found the cook a a 70 year old woman chained to the stove by her ankle probably tight it was had abrasions she probably couldn't even walk right the rest of her life she later said that she had set the fire as a suicide attempt because she feared being punished. She said that slaves taken to the uppermost room never came back. Oh, my God. So this proves why that eight-year-old baby jumped from the roof because they would take them to the attic to give them their judgment. So that baby jumped out the window. to like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to die. Why, why be beat to death? Why well, could just jump to jump to my death? Uh, it says, um, as reported, New Orleans B, by bystanders responding to the fire, attempted to enter the slave quarters to ensure that everyone had been evacuated. Upon being refused, refused the keys by the Lolores. See, so they, there was a whole family of these motherfuckers. There was a whole family of wicked-ass Edomites that were torturing, raping, and murdering uh, whoever they got in that house. Which this house actually just literally represents all of America, you know, in a whole the Lolores Royal House, all right, of, of 1140 Street represents the entire uh, 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 state that Esau had us in as a people, man. The bystanders broke down the doors to the slave quarters and found seven slaves, more or less horribly mutilated, suspended by the neck with their limbs apparently stretched and torn from one ex extremity to the other who claimed to have been in prison there for some months. Oh, my God. One of those who entered the premises was Judge Jean uh, Francois uh, 
Kenaj, who subsequently deposed to having found in the Lalori's mansion, among others, a negress wearing an iron collar and an old Negro woman who had received very deep wound on her head, who was too weak to be able to walk. Uh, uh, Con- Con- Kenaj said that there that when he questioned Lalori's husband about the slaves. He was told in an insolent manner that some people had better stay at home rather than come to others' houses to dictate laws and meddle with other people's business. So right here proves that he had no, uh, they had no pity, okay? They had no remorse, okay? They didn't look at this as, uh, as, um, wicked, okay? And their heart was fully set in them to do evil. You see that? Esau's heart is fully set in him to do evil. They have to be cut off, okay? They have to be cut off. This land has to be cleansed. Numbers 35 and 33, and it reads, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Esau's blood needs to be shed all right, for for what he's done, for what they have done. This is this is this is accounts in history, man. Okay, a horrendous account in history of Esau Edom. This is Ecclesiastes eight and fifteen, uh, Ecclesiastes uh, eight and eleven. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. It is set in Esau's heart fully to do evil man this disease that is running rampant on our people needs to be cut off okay they need to be cut off this is uh Sirach, or known as ecclesiasticus 10 and uh 10 the physician cutteth off a long disease and he that is today a king tomorrow shall die for when a man is dead he shall inherit creeping things beasts and worms the beginning of pride is when one departed from the most high and his heart is turned away from his maker and that's exactly esau okay it says for pride is the beginning of sin and he that has it shall pour out abominations this is why he's done abominable things to us because he's proud Okay, he's so proud in his wickedness that he has to commit abominations to continue in that pride. And therefore, the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. That was the Lord that sent fire to that house. And that, that's why I said through the spirit, this house re- represents America and that fire is coming back and we will be freed. But in the midst of our freedom, we're going to be, uh, uh, you know, mutilated and bound and, 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 and tortured. And the, this, this, this represents Jake in a hole, man. Okay. This, this whole account of history literally represents Jake in a hole. And this, this woman, Lalori, she represents the great whore of Babylon, if you look at it spiritually, man. And we will be freed. Okay. We will be freed. We will be delivered. All right, and Esau Edom will not be able to escape uh, the wickedness that he's done to us. So I just wanted to do a lesson on this through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Lord, will you, brothers and sisters, were edified through the spirit as I was. And I just want to say, call Allah, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Baha Rakakodash. With that being said, Shalom.